So you've started a new project in Blender. Everything is going great. However, after modeling a few objects, you realize you're about to model something you've already done in another Blender file. How do you get it into this file? This is where the link and append options come in handy. Here's how this works. With either option, you'll be able to peer inside a .blend file to see its contents. The folder you'll use the most is the objects folder. With the link option, this means that our current file will be referencing an object in another Blender file. If we make any changes to the original file, they will appear next time we open up the file that links to it. You'll notice a blue outline around an object instead of the usual orange outline. This means the object is linked. Pressing tab to go into edit mode will not work. You can only change it from the original Blender file. By default, you can't change anything about a linked object, including the position, rotation, and size. To change these, you'll need to make an object proxy, which will still link to the original mesh and materials, but allow you to change the position, rotation, and size. The outline is no longer blue, but you can still tell it's linked by looking in the Outliner panel. The link option is best used for project organization. You can split your work up into multiple files, which can also allow for more than one person to be involved. This way allows you to change something in one place, and it updates every file that links to it. The append option is very similar, but instead we make a copy of the object. Once the copy is made, the two files have nothing to do with each other. I can change the original, and it won't affect the file we appended. Keep in mind that with the append, we are physically making a copy of the object. If it is a large object that takes up a lot of space, the current Blender file will also grow. One last thing to keep in mind, as you create new Blender files, make sure you name your objects. Otherwise, later on down the road, linking and appending will be difficult because the names won't make any sense. Save yourself some time and hassle and use good names. I hope this video was helpful. My name is Jared Owen. Thank you for watching.